really hot. Literally just landed in London with my friends wedding, so I was in Lagos for about four or five days and it was a crazy event, 2,000 people, big up to man, lots of food, lots of drinks, lots of partying, big, big wedding, even from Lagos, you know, the wedding was massive, big hall, and uh, I landed in London this morning, I have to work, sadly, so I'm gonna bring you along, work from home vlog, I'm gonna make it like a life update at the end, so stay to the end, don't skip the video, don't skip, watch to the end, and don't drop off right now, please, because I'm talking. So quick life update, I'm currently nine weeks out for my first bodybuilding show and I've actually created a new channel called Jack Finance Bro. So on that YouTube channel, I'm gonna post shorts and full content about just bodybuilding, training, fitness, exercise, diet. Literally, that is just gonna be me training and eating. This is my advice to you if you're a current summer intern and actually wanna convert this into a full-time role. The first two weeks or the first week and a half or even the first week, you're going to be doing some training. It could be financial modeling training, presentation training. You have to show you're very willing and very engaged throughout the whole time you're learning all this stuff because this way, in my mind is a primary effect. People are going to remember you based on the first two weeks you joined. Was this guy engaging? Did he ask good questions? Was he willing to take on more work? You don't want a situation where you finish the first two weeks and no one knows if you're good or bad. You're sort of just like in the middle, no one's sure, or maybe you're even the bad part. Because once you're in the bad part or you're in the middle part, you then have to show up a lot in the last six weeks and perform amazing analysis, present your ideas properly. You're more or less fighting an uphill battle, whereas even the first two weeks, you literally come out, like literally day one, you come out flying, you come out asking questions. A question I got on TikTok, which was quite interesting, was what finance podcast do I listen to? And even if I'm on TikTok, Follow me, I'll probably put it right here. So follow me right here. And the number one podcast I listen to about finance is the Micro Hive Conversations podcast by Bilal Hafiz. And honestly, I can hand and heart say this podcast is literally why I work for the company I work for, not in the way you're thinking about it. It's because every week, Bilal Hafiz brings on different guests and they talk about what's currently going on in the market. So when I was interviewing for roles, a part of the interview is you have to also talk about what's going on in the market and we actually need to know that and have that knowledge literally quick. Because of the podcast, I listened to that every Friday, I was always abreast what was going on in the market. Like I literally knew the Bank of England moved the rates down. I was literally getting that knowledge just from listening to that podcast. The other one I listened to is called 
Amplify Me and it's a podcast by the guys over Amplify Trading. I also listen to the Money Week podcast and that's literally just about teaching how to invest your money. Host is called Something Somerset. She brings on different guests each week. They talk about investing in oil, hedge funds, land, like talk about investments in general. So those are the main three I listen to. I think the Macro Life podcast literally covers everything because they talk about investing, macro knowledge, as again to top investment banks. So in my mind, I don't need to have 100 podcasts. I just need to have one, two or three that actually fulfill every single need and from podcast what you want one especially is finance one that keeps you up to the recurrent affairs one that teaches you about personal finance 